I'm Zeke Fravor, and this is your UT10 Sports Report. I had the opportunity to watch the St. Francis hockey team practice before the puck dropped for the regular season. But first, the men's basketball team took on Detroit Mercy, while the women's team played Wright State. Detroit opened the contest with a three-pointer from Antoine Davis. But the Rockets would answer back with four baskets in a row from junior Cedric Milner Jr., JT Shoemate, Ray J. Dennis, and sophomore Brian Rollins. The Titans would take the lead back until Shoemate tied the game at 27 apiece. The Rockets ended the first half on a 6-0 run and headed into the break up 43-35. In the second half, Ray J. Dennis would score five of his 13 points on the evening. The Titans weren't done though, as they would go on a 6-0 run of their own to cut the lead to 52-49. That's as close as Detroit would come, as Dennis and Shoemate would both hit three-pointers to ice the game. The win was Toledo's 11th consecutive home opening win. Earlier in the day, the women's basketball team squared off with the Wright State Raiders. Wright State took the early lead, but the Rockets fought back and took a 9-7 lead thanks to junior Hannah Nelvarovsky. Junior Sophia Wired sank a three to end the first quarter, with the Rockets leading 21-11. In the second quarter, Toledo continued their dominance with 20 points, heading into the break up 41-22. Wright State opened play back up in the third quarter with seven of the first 10 points, but junior Quinesha Lockett did her part, scoring 10 points of her own to keep the lead at 19. The Raiders would outscore the Rockets in the fourth quarter, but it wouldn't be enough. Freshman Jessica Cook notched a double-double, and Lockett led the way for Toledo with 23 points. The 2020-2021 season was a good one for the St. Francis Knights hockey team. The Knights compiled a 27-3-2 record, won the Northwest Hockey Conference Red Division title, and won the Ohio High School Athletic Association State Championship. This year, expectations around the locker room are more of the same. With three state titles since 2010, the Knights are one of the premier high school hockey teams in the state. There was some attrition in the offseason as seven seniors graduated, including top scorers Devin Homeyer, Nick Mack, and defenseman Billy Dressel. Among players returning are seniors Gordy Hunt, Owen Denker, and goaltender Jack Smalley. Last year, attendance was limited, and players had to miss out on the experience of a full student section. I'm excited, especially for fans this year. It's not, it's, you know, it's, it's only my second year. Last year, I didn't get to experience that with COVID and all that, so I'm super excited for this year and just to get started. Head coach Chris Varga is entering his 10th season at the helm. Under Coach Varga, the Knights have won six district titles and three state titles. The NHC Red Division is wide open this year. Yeah, yeah, BG, Finley, like he said, Northview always has a good team. St. John's is always pretty decent. Um, our entire league is pretty tough this year. St. Francis opens league play against the Bowling Green Bobcats Friday, November 19th at Sylvania Tam O'Shanner.